Now I forgot the original question. <laughs> because I started to feel things, so that's what happens. <laughs> like now, like I, I already feel there's a mother, and so like I feel spirit. I don't see the way we see here in the physical world. I feel emotional bonds or relationships that we shared with someone. So the, I do feel a mother energy present. There is a laboring to the breathing. So typically if I felt that, if I'm out, out in the store and I'm having difficulty breathing, what are you gonna think, right? I can't breathe, I'm having a heart attack, right? So that's where a lot of my anxiety came in. But what I've learned is that this, and the three shortness of the breaths, which I just did, is my symbol for that somebody watched someone or, uh, breathe before they died, or that was something on how they struggled with their breath. And they, spirit, when they make me feel that, they don't want us to remember those things, remember their loved ones in that way. So now my legs just went numb. So that's my symbol for where someone was bedridden or they did not have the ability to move around, whether there was something amputated, whatever it may be. I did see a separation. So that's my symbol for where separation could be emotional, geographical, or if you feel that you could have done more to keep them here in the physical world, or you wish you could have done more. Do you understand that? How do you, so now look, here's the other thing. This is what I refer to as piggybacking, where spirit, my, but you see how I'm looking at you, but then they had me look directly at you. But do you understand the legs? Yeah. Because started jumping up and down and dancing. That's my symbol for that they can move freely on the other side, that prior to their departure, they were bedridden or could not move around here in the physical world. Do you connect with jewelry? Someone have someone, how do you understand that? Perfect. So know that she does not want you to remember her ill. Do you understand that? And did you not get to say goodbye to her? Because she says, please tell her to stop saying that I wish I got to say goodbye and that I loved you. She said, you did. You always told me that. Were you just talking to her now? Because she goes, tell her that I heard her. So look, I know that, that was for you, right? <laughs> now, I don't know. You look like, but this is the thing. How could I know that from you, right? There was no way that I would know how you feel, right? She says she also, you will, oh yeah, 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 you can come over. Oh, so this is the ring, perfect. So know that she knows that you wore this today for her, but I feel like you do wear it often, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So, cause she showed me like a wedding and like a birthday party, so it's my symbol for where you wear things that you feel that you bring her with you, correct? So just know that her soul goes with you when uh, when you do those things, even if you don't wear something. She's funny, your grandmother, was she funny? Because yeah. she goes, listen, I am not sick. You tell her that I am not sick. So was that the way that she was? Oh, yeah. That no matter what was placed in her path, yeah. she was like, you know what, I'm fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So did you, could you not get to her? Why do I see you like, I don't even know how to interpret this, because Spirit usually doesn't show me this, so I really don't have a meaning for this. I see you like scrambling, like rushing, and she's like, Teresa, I waited, I waited, I waited, I really, really tried. She says, but I couldn't. She says, and then I thought, I didn't want her to watch me take my last breath. She said, I did not want her to remember me in that way. There was a blizzard the night she passed away and um, no one could get there. That, you know, sometimes we don't look at it and view it in that way but she's showing me that that was a blessing that you couldn't get, do you understand that? Because she says, Teresa, she says, I lived a full life and I did not want to sacrifice quality for quantity. Yeah, she, uh, she had ALS, so she couldn't walk or she had a lot of trouble for breathing and the walking and she had enough. Because she made me also feel like she was, that she had harder times with her illness before, where well, you thought that that was the end before, correct? Yeah, she would fall and we thought. That was it, right? And she always bounced back. Cause she says, I didn't want you to remember me that way. Do you still have our blanket? She just lifted up a blanket. That's my symbol for someone knitted or crocheted, but then oh she placed God. it to the side and then laid it over your lap. <laughs> so do you have it? Um, her best friend made me a blanket that I have. Perfect. Yeah. So validating that she knows what was made. Was it made of her stuff? Um, you know, I don't know. How do you understand aprons or nightgowns? Do you she, well, she wore a night like a oh. moo moo, like oh, a moo, -moo. Whole, <laughs> like a night like a nightgown, like in ho at home, like at oh, all time. Okay. But um, the blanket was given to me after the fact. Perfect. Yeah. So, but it was like really from her or of her, correct? Yeah. But you have something like with her handwriting on it? Because first she showed me a um, a recipe box and an address book. That's my symbol for like if we actually kept those things, correct? Mm 
And then she changed it to a little post-it note and it just said, I love you on it. So that's my symbol for like, if we have just something maybe from a card. She actually showed me I with a heart and then a U. Yeah. So, cause usually they'll show me actually written out, I love you, but it yeah. said I. So maybe that's why, because yeah. it was an I owe you. I owe you. She wrote, my grandmother wrote me a, an I owe you when I was very young, <sighs> like as a joke, like I owe you like $500 and she would give me $1 <sighs> every time she saw me and she didn't get to pay it oh by my the time God. she left. That's hilarious. So that that might be it. The, yes, yeah. but th this is the thing. Spirit can show me something in my frame of reference, and I never had that before. So maybe that's why, because yeah. it was an I owe you. I owe you, and then it's... I took yeah. it as a heart, like, I love you. Yeah. So validating for you that she knows that about that, whether if you still have that note, I do. right? She says, I am so proud of you. <laughs> she says, I need you to love and honor and respect yourself more than you miss me, she says. She's like, I am so proud of you. And she says, I don't want you to feel discouraged. That's why she was saying, I need you to love and honor and respect yourself more than any negativity anywhere in your life. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and just almost like keep uh, plugging forward. Because how can we heal if we're busy beating ourselves up? with burdens or a guilt or a should have, could have, would have, or maybe it's just simply an only if, right? So when spirit says things like this, they, they say, we need you to release all of these negative emotions so you can start to heal. Let the healing begin knowing that my soul is at peace.